Sachin Anand Utegar from Trade Bulls is also with us. Uh, hi, Sachin Anand. Welcome to ET Now. We'll come to you uh, on market views later in the show. But let's discuss your uh, trading ideas. Bharti Airtel has been a top gainer, one of the top gainer in index today. That's a buy call for you. And Coal India, very near to its resistance of uh, 309, 310. You think uh, that stock is going to breach that resistance and move higher? Well, good evening. Uh, yes, uh, you know, uh, let's talk about Bharti first. Uh, you know, after a substantial fall of around 20%, uh, we have seen some stability getting uh, you know reinstated in this particular counter. Couple of days back, we saw a bullish engulfing pattern getting emerged near to its 200-day moving average. If you look at uh, some of the oscillators, we are seeing a price divergence here. So yes, uh, we are looking at Bharti Airtel from a positional perspective, wherein we are li looking at a price target around 485. Long positions uh, can be initiated here with a stop loss close to 412.30. Coal India, as you rightly said, you know, if you look at a uh, couple of days back, uh, the OI activity had uh, increased and if you look at 310 as a resistance, we are expecting that uh, this particular resistance could be breached. We are looking at a price target somewhere close to 335, uh, which could be achieved uh, during this particular uh, uh, this particular expiry itself. If you look at the pattern formation, we have, we have clearly seen a breakout from a pennant formation on the weekly scale and the volumes have been gradually increasing. So I think that's a substantial evidence uh, for momentum longs. Uh, stop loss can be placed around 296.30 and long positions can be initiated even right now. Skip, uh, Bharti and Coal India buy from Sachinana. Uh, let's take more uh, trading ideas at this point of time. Uh, Sachin Anand, I'll come to you first. Uh, you are suggesting to sell BPCL. I understand there's a lot of shorting which is taking place in the stock. Stock has given its immediate support. But do you think it is safe to short uh, when we are seeing that crude oil prices are coming down, which would probably be not so negative for stock like BPCL? Well, as you rightly said, you know, uh, there have been uh, short positions which are accumulating. In fact, uh, from a pattern perspective, uh, we've already seen a broadening kind of a formation near the support so there's a likelihood that uh, this particular support may be a threat and we may see uh, an extended target right up to 422 uh, a trading stop loss uh, can be uh, kept around 463.30 and probably you know short positions can be initiated even right now uh, if you look at the overall trend the trend has been negative uh, you know we have already seen a lot of underperformance in this particular counter uh, even the crude oil effect has really not played out well so far so we are expecting that this particular support may be a threat and we may see lower levels soon BPACL is a sell for uh, uh, you know Sachin Anand. Sachin Anand, uh, what are you suggesting? Do you think it's a buy on dips market or you would suggest to short because you have been giving buy calls apart from BPCL shell? Well, uh, we have already given BPCL on the short side uh, and uh, Coal India and Bharti Airtel on the long side. But if you look at the overall momentum that has been, uh, you know, uh, that, that we have seen in the last half an hour, I think, uh, you know, Jet Airways here is uh, hitting a resistance somewhere close to 830 and it has reversed. So probably we may see lower levels close to around 786. And I think short positions can be initiated in Jet Airways, keeping stop loss somewhere close to 811. Well, uh, that's interesting uh, that uh, Indigo is outperforming and Jet is not. And I want to highlight a few points over here and especially PSU banks. And sorry for talking about banking space throughout the day today, but it's worth uh, mentioning it. PNB 40% rise in open interest. Bank of India 38%. Oriental Bank 30%. SBI 18%. And needless to mention that these are short positions. Yes, in Bhav copy you will see some figures change here or there. But the quantum of shorting which is taking place is higher. And one more important point, 14% rise in open interest in bank nifty futures. That's huge. Clearly suggesting that the, the this is clearly shorting which is taking place. And not just in PSU names, but also private sector banks have seen, you know, correction. Clearly stating that this market is not moving out of this uh, correction zone as of now, despite global queues have been a bit flattish. This brings to my question to you, uh, Sachin Anand, and this question is on Nifty. If Bank Nifty is not performing, if Bank Nifty has closed at the lowest point of, uh, you know, calendar year 2018, in fact, if I'm not wrong, this would be lowest closing since mid of December. Can one build a case of buying in Nifty if Bank Nifty is not performing? Well, I would uh, rather avoid it. In fact, uh, you know, banks have a larger weightage in the index, and uh, if you see, uh, you know, the, uh, they have been continuously dragging. So, if you even if you look at the Nifty itself, you know, the broader range that we are seeing is around 10,700 and 10,300. So, probably, you know, uh, one should not take that particular call. 
on the lower side in case uh, if the nifty drifts towards say 10300350 then probably you know one may look at uh, that opportunity but as of now i think uh, you know it's better to stay with the momentum and the momentum is clearly seen in the banking stocks which are dragging lower so probably one should uh, you know uh, rather stay neutral on the nifty and go short on the banks